Yeah. All right. Hello, folks. First session of the Dresden Files Tales from Berlin. The sort of experimental pick up and play hub thing that we're doing. Uh, and we're going to test it out with our first adventure. The sheep is going to DM. And it's going to feature the uh, three characters of, uh, let's see here, Felix, uh, Bjorn, and Alexander. And it's going to be pretty great, hopefully. Unless we die horribly in the first encounter, which might happen. Who can say? Zombie triceratops. Go! Yeah, that, that thing was bad. If, so. if we do, then there's probably some rule we have missed somewhere. Probably. I'm honestly do not sure how I die yet. <laughs> do, you want to, do you want to super quickly summarize the characters, or do you just want to refer everyone who just tunes into this video to the last one? Uh, we can do a quick thing. I can, I can quickly uh, describe my character. I'm going to be playing Felix Strauss. He is a... Wizard of the White Council, he is an archaeologist, and he is a professor and an adventurer. He's basically Indiana Jones wizard. Uh, he is an earth wizard, uh, with some fire and spirit magic thrown in, and he is located in Berlin, where he likes to study things that belongs in museums, and he really doesn't like demons and other stuff coming after his town. Uh, he's a bit of a gruff, uh, salt, uh, salt of the earth type, he smokes a pipe, uh, but generally has a good heart. And uh, he, he has done some stuff for the for the city. Been here a couple of years, uh, and uh, basically acts as 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 uh, its uh, guardian. His greatest trouble is that um, he he does view a lot of his peers around him as very passive. When they could be doing a lot of good things, they seem to be just twiddling their thumbs. Or like the bureaucracy of the city seems to be incredibly slow, uh, which uh, which stuff like that really provokes him and and spurs him into action a lot of times he basically thinks well if they're not going to save the city i have to i can't let it burn so uh so yeah that, that's that's my character in a nutshell i suppose uh manakai why don't you continue well uh, i'll be playing uh, the character of alexander he's a holy knight of saint constantine he's a very devout and believing christian man um He's a good guy, to say the least. His preferred method of dealing with 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 bad bad things of the never never, for example, would be to to banish them or compel them to to abandon their 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 actions and and leave. Um, yeah, he he's a he's a shield, a rock against against the tides of evil. Pretty much. And Heldemir. Uh I'm playing Bjorn Olsen, the vigilante werebear zookeeper. That's uh, pretty much all you need to know. He turns into a bear, and uh, he's a zookeeper. Uh, that's pretty much him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> Jonas still can't connect, and it's definitely not on my end, so it must be on Jonas' end. And knowing Java, you might need to restart your computer. Well, that's great. Oh my. Well, or, uh, I mean, a yeah, short video, guys. Uh, this was a two-minute video. Well, well, before before you restart, maybe we should introduce the thing. Sure. Let's in, let's take five minutes before I go, so it's at least a ten-minute video or something. Yeah. To introduce the thing, so. We, since this is, is a sort of a, a adventure hub mentality to it, we have the city, it's there, and it's open for any DM to sort of play around with, uh, as long as they, you know, sort of respect the boundaries we have set down for the city. They can change them, but, you know, it's something that will evolve over time and with many different DMs. That's sort of the idea here, because we... I mean, the campaign is sort of set up to try to tackle the fact that a lot of people don't have as much time to play anymore as they once did. So it's very much a pick-up-and-play episodic uh, approach to role-playing. So we will have a lot of different DMs and a lot of different stories. That's the plan. Uh, but we also want to, uh, like we did with uh, when we sat down and created the city, to try to involve you, the audience, uh, in this. Uh, and make you sort of part of the creative process uh, of Berlin in the Dresden verse. And to that effect, we have something set up or something in mind for that that Sheep will now explain in detail. Uh, 
I thought Helmer was doing that, but sure. What we figured was that since our our Berlin here is very much set in the current time, we figured, well, what kind of messaging board would be used by everyone in Berlin? And of course, the answer is Reddit. So essentially, what we're thinking is, is, hey, why don't we make a subreddit on Reddit and pretend that all the posts made there, either by us or by anyone who really feels like participating, are made by actual people like living in Berlin who might be discussing like that that, I don't know, that enormous rat that walked through the mall last evening, or this upside down wolverine that is all over the news. You know, things like that. And you know, if any viewer comes up with a very interesting story in that regard, we might just take that as a, as a like adventure hook. You know, it might become proper canon. Although, I guess technically every everything that is posted there with the appropriate format and not too ridiculous, We'll, we'll just consider the canon, essentially. You know? Berlin is a strange place. Berlin, even. German would say Berlin. And you can make it an even stranger place if you want now, I suppose. Yeah. So, if you have a an idea, a something you want to sort of sprinkle the fantastic world of Berlin with, uh, you can post it on the subreddit. And it will become part of the canon. Uh, the different characters will, uh, the characters we are playing will post from time to time. Maybe not my character as much because he has difficult trouble. You know, he has trouble trouble using a computer. His students does might. it through somebody. But maybe yeah. maybe his, some of his students or something will post. And it's a it's a great way to sort of seed the gaming world with uh, ad- adventure hooks, ideas, fe- like uh, some sort of. Like oh I I heard about the upside down badger and like oh that was weird and then like I post a little bl- blurb about that and we might make make that into an adventure. Best tavern ever. Or or post about the best tavern ever. Post a Yelp review <laughs> of Das Pumpernickel or something uh, to sort of flesh out the world. Uh, so yeah, v- viewed as a way of interacting with us um, and the campaign and uh, and and help us create the Berlin. Because there's going to be so, there's going to be a, a decent sort of switch of DMs and adventurers and characters that uh, you know there, there's room for a lot here. Maybe you 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 introduce or present a certain character and that will also be taken up in the canon, if, uh, if we like it. So um, um, and yeah. Also, yes, we are we are setting this away from the main books. We are not playing this in Chicago. Uh, we are not playing this on, on on North or South America. This is European centric. It is set sometime in the beginning of the uh, of the war, but it not not much has really happened yet. No no big ramifications have gone down as of yet. So the 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 um, the world is basically in the state of like the seven first books, perhaps, something like that, uh, and won't really uh, like dive in much in the main story. That's happening over in the North America. This is what's going to happen in uh, in Berlin that we're sort of focusing on. It's a it's a but it's localized like that. But of course, it's on the one hand localized. On the other hand, it doesn't have to be like book canon. There might be other like enormous events happening that are not happening in the books. Maybe they have happened in the books and just weren't mentioned because we're in Europe, or maybe we just decide that something would be really cool, so we do it. I would assume, you know? Yeah. Who likes the status quo anyways? Well, we can look over and see. All right. I, it, divergent history, yes. Diver, mm-hmm. Divergent history campaign. Okay. So, Jonas, do, do, do you restart really quick? Yeah, I suppose I need to restart. I'm just going to do a, a, a last attempt to connect here. Nope, it doesn't work. Okay, I need to restart. Uh, video is going to cut here, and when we come back, we're probably going to be in session, hopefully, if we get it to work. Uh, if you're watching this on stream, I'll uh, I'll be right back. <laughs>
Uh, until then, I am sure Sheep and Haldemir in chat will, will keep you entertained uh, until the stream gets going again. So, uh, be back in a second. <laughs>